Hey guys, this is Mr. Breen, and in this video I'm going to give you uh, a sample problem for comparative advantage. Okay, here's the setup of the problem. Given some amount of fixed, in, fixed investment, let's say a million dollars or whatever kind of currency we're using, let's say that the planet of Arrakis, and extra points to so somebody who can tell me what, uh, what I'm referring to here, and the planet of Caladan, Arrakis can produce 3,000, I don't know, bushels of spice, and, or, or they can produce 12,000 bushels of pundi rice. Not both, note, they're either producing this, or they're producing this. Caladan is either producing 1,000 bushels of spice or 8,000 of pundi rice. From an absolute advantage standpoint, this is really easy. From the standpoint of absolute advantage, Arrakis clearly has an absolute advantage in spice. They can produce more with the same amount of input. But they also have an absolute advantage in pundi rice, because they can produce more with the same input. But who has the comparative advantage? Should they still trade with each other? The answer is yes, they should still trade with each other. To figure out comparative advantage, we're going to have to look at the opportunity cost of making each one of these things for each of these countries. So for Arrakis, for every spice they give up, for every spice they give up, how many, or for every spice they make, how, many, how much pundi rice are they giving up? Well, it looks like pundi rice per spice is that, which is four. Four. And if we're going to figure out how much Spice per pundi rice, that's just 3,000 over 12,000 equals one-fourth. And then following the same process for Caladan, we're going to get eight, eight pundi rice per spice, eight this per this. And for pundi rice, it's going to be one over eight, one this for every eight of this. When it comes to the amount you can make, you want that number to be high. But when it comes to the cost of making something, you want that number to be low. So whoever has the comparative advantage is the one that has the lower opportunity cost. So for spice, it looks like that's Arrakis. They only have to give up four bushels of pundi rice for every bushel of spice they make, whereas Caladan has to give up eight. On the other hand, Caladan has, an, has a comparative advantage in pundi rice. They only have to give up one-eighth of a bushel of spice for every bushel of pundi rice that they make, Arrakis has to give up twice that much. Now, our question becomes, what ratio should they trade at when they trade, when they specialize? We know Arrakis should only produce spice. That's where they have a comparative advantage. And Caladan should only produce pundi rice. That's where they have a comparative advantage. And then they should trade between each other. But at what ratio? Well, for Arrakis, the ratio of spice to pundi rice that they can make is 1 to 4. For Caladan, the ratio of spice to pundi rice is 1 to 8 in terms of their productive capacity. So the rate that they should, uh, every bushel of spice, every bushel of spice should trade for somewhere between 4 and 8 bushels of rice, somewhere between there. Then they're both better off. So let's see if this actually does make them better off. And let's just set arbitrarily. It doesn't have to be this. It could be anywhere between 1, one to 4 and 1 to 8. But let's say they trade at 1 to 6. And that's the ratio of spice to rice that they trade at. If Arrakis focuses only on spice production, they can make 3,000 bushels of spice. Let's say they make 3,000 bushels of spice, and then they trade, let's say, 500 bushels over to Caladan. So they're going to have 2,500 spice. Caladan has 500 bushels of spice. Since they're trading at a 1 to 6 ratio, that means that Caladan's going to have to trade for every one bushel of spice six bushels of pundi rice. So they got 500 bushels of spice. So six times that is 3,000 3, bushels of rice. And since they're focusing on rice um, and they can make 8,000 bushels of rice when they're focusing on rice, they're going to be left with 5,000 remaining bushels of rice. And this is all without, sorry, with, with trade, with trade. 
Now, how well they, could they have done without trade? Could either of, the, either of these planets have done better? Well, without trade, if Arrakis wanted 2,500 bushels of spice, remember, their, trading off, their trade-off is 1 to 4. For every bushel of spice they make, they give up 4 bushels of rice that they could have made. So, they gave up 500 um, possible bushels of spice and instead made four times that. So they get 2,000 bushels of rice. That's 2,000 rice, if you can't read that. Uh, but they're worse off. They're worse off without trade by 1,000 bushels of rice. What about Caladan? Well, Caladan, if they had wanted 500 bushels of spice without trade, they would have had to spend fully half of their resources making that, because remember, if they spend all their resources, they can get a thousand spice. Their trade-off is one bushel of spice to eight bushels of rice. So, for uh, since they're making 500 bushels of spice, that means they have to give up 4,000 bushels of rice out of a total of 8,000 they could have made, so they're left with 4,000 bushels of rice. You see, they are also a thousand bushels of rice worse off without trade.